The 3,000-foot rock formation of El Capitan in Yosemite, California has extremely high notoriety in the climbing sphere, having some of the hardest and most dangerous climbing routes in the world. Watching climbers like Alex Honnold making it up all the way without a rope, the question in all our minds is, what if he falls? Here are five climbers whose ascents of the formidable rock formation unfortunately ended badly. First, we have Tyler Gordon, a 22-year-old University of Colorado graduate who on May 27, 2015 was climbing on the nose route. Tyler loved climbing and was said by his friends to have been very safe and thorough while scaling rock faces. At some point during his ascent of the nose, Tyler decided to retrieve some gear that he dropped and to do so he would rappel down. However, it was believed that he forgot to clip his belay device to the rope or he fell before being able to attach himself. Tyler fell around 200 feet to a ledge below to his death after leaning back to prepare to rappel. His friends were dumbfounded as again he was known to be very safe while climbing. Tyler Gordon is remembered as being an intelligent and caring mentor for not just climbing but for approaching life itself, challenging one's ideas along the way. Next, we have climber Emily Harrington, who is a five-time US national champion, making first female ascents of several 514 graded routes over the years. Eventually, she set her sights on the Golden Gate route of El Capitan, a 41 pitch 513A, and after climbing the route over six days in 2015, Emily made it a goal to free climb the route in one single day. On November 24, 2019, while practicing the route with Alex Honnold, she slipped and fell sideways 50 feet, hitting her head on the rock. The two climbers had been simul climbing, which can result in falls that are far longer than usual. Emily needed rescuing and was taken to a hospital after a long wait dangling on the rock face with injuries. It almost took away her resolve, but she bandaged up and managed to fully send the Golden Gate route for a free climb in under 24 hours in November 2020. Now this next tragedy was just due to bad luck. Mason Robinson, a climber from Montana, was making his way up the Mir Wall, a 5'9 route on El Cap, with his partner Mark on May 19, 2013. They were up over 2,300 feet suspended on the rock face in the process of a several day excursion up the giant granite wall. They would a few more pitches left planning to complete the route that day starting on pitch 27 that morning. However that was where tragedy would strike as Mason placed a camming device above a triangular flake in the rock face. The rock became dislodged somehow and fell on top of him. As the rope became tight to stop his fall, the rock came down and severed the rope he was harnessed to. Mason still had the haul line attached to his gear, but it was 230 feet in length, and he fell all the way of that length, being killed instantly. Climbers offered an outpour of support amidst the heartbreaking situation, and Mason is remembered for being someone who lived more in one of his days than most do in their lifetime. Our final story here involves two climbers, Jason Wells and Tim Klein. The two were very enthusiastic climbers and had been partnering on routes since their time in college in San Diego, which was 20 years prior to this event, so they had a lot of experience behind them. The duo were making their way up the free blast area of El Cap on the morning of June 2nd, 2018 in a simul climbing fashion, which allowed them to climb the route faster. Brady Robinson, a fellow climber and close friend of Jason, was along for the ride, but was on his own separate rope and anchor. Jim and Jason were about a third of the way up the 3,000 foot rock face when something happened that caused one of the pair to fall. It's thought that the second line on Tim's harness had been disconnected, effectively having them solo with just a rope connecting the two of them. This meant that as one of them slipped, the other was pulled down with them. According to a witness account, Tim was heard yelling as both of them fell an initial distance, with the rope stopped by a boulder. A short moment later, the rope was severed, likely on the same boulder, which made Jason and Tim plunge 1,000 feet to the base of El Cap. Neither of them survived, despite swift calls to emergency services. Both were fathers and husbands, and our hearts go out to the families. Stay tuned for more climbing stories here at Crux Craze, and if there are any climbers that you personally want to see featured on the channel, feel free to leave a comment and I'll take a look. See you on the next one.